I have poopy days all the time. I all You're gonna look like idiots uh, because he will do, he will get away with, he will imprison, he will execute whoever he's allowed to imprison, execute, uh, 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 drive from the country. So say that the Pentagon at some point picks up an incoming new. It's 11 p.m. Who do you call? The first lady? He has a team that uh, lets him know of any of any news that is pertinent and important to the American people. Uh, he has someone or that is decided, obviously, with his National Security Council on who uh, gets to tell him that news. A bullet couldn't stop Trump. A virus just stopped Biden. You've got the nominees of this party getting their butts kissed. Biden's getting his butt kicked by his own party. The Democrats are coming apart. The Republicans are coming together. I'll beat Donald Trump. I will beat him again in 2020. You guys are out here on the heels of the attempted Trump assassination. Um, can I get your reaction to what happened the other day? Well, it's a shame the person missed, but um, it's ironic that the shooter was also a Republican. Hit him on the head very lightly to get his attention. to just thank you guys. They thanked all the college protesters and everything. Houthis, Hezbollah, Hamas. Does that make you happy? Uh-huh, yeah. Of course, we're supported. It makes me feel like there's actually some kind of hope. For a hundred bucks. Who was the terrorist group behind 9-11? No clue. ISIS. Mm. Al-Qaeda. But you think that 9-11 had some justification? Good in some ways. Wow. Can you guys find Gaza on a map? I think we need a better map. Can't find it. No. Who is the number one sponsor of global terrorists? America. Mm -hmm. I think the U.S. New York. Mm -hmm. New York's a state. Starbucks. Where is slavery legal in the Middle East? Israel, you know. In Yemen, the Houthis brought it back. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, what's a Houthi? Where is the only country where it's legal to be gay in the Middle East? I would say Asia. I don't know. Do you know it's Israel? I don't consider it a country. I would go to Palestine. If you went to Palestine, you'd be thrown off of a building. Tel Aviv's like the gayest city on earth. I doubt it's the gayest city on earth. It's really gay. You know what uh, the number one slogan the Iranian government chants is? Death to America. Honestly, like, I kind of don't blame them. <laughs> really? I don't know of a job interview that you could have gone on and delivered the performance that was delivered by Joe Biden. I think I'm the most qualified person to run for president. And gotten a job. And I'm not talking about the presidency. I'm talking about, like, cashier at Home Depot. Like, a job that you would not think... Okay, that, that is the hardest job in the entire world. You think you just fell out of a coconut tree? <laughs> I'm very conscious uh, as, uh, as I sit in this chair now of making sure that we need to uh, attract diverse candidates. But in America, we resolve our difference at the battle box. box. Battle box. Battle box. You know, that's how we do it, at the battle box, not with bullets. We still don't know for sure whether Donald Trump was hit by a bullet, whether he was hit by glass fragments, whether he was hit by shrapnel. We don't have those details. We actually have no details from his physician, even though this man is still a Secret Service protected, you know, and pres presidential candidate. We knew almost nothing. Why? Why don't we know that much? We know that three people were shot. One person, unfortunately, was killed at the rally. We don't know where they were sitting or standing relative to him. 
and you're going to see how smart he is and the experience he has. And then you'll see somebody who, like you're saying, I'm going to use Joy's words, Go can't ahead. put a sentence together. I, uh, um... Anyway... The best way to get something done, if you, if it holds near and dear to you, that you uh, um, like to be able to. Anyway, from from uh, uh, Char, excuse me, from Charlotte, one and uh, another, and 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 Joan, Shengang, 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 Los Angeles and, uh, and, uh, um, uh, um, what am I doing here? Specifically, have you taken a cognitive no, test? No, I haven't taken a test. Why the hell would I take a test? Come on, man. That's like saying you, before you got in this program, you take a test where you're taking cocaine or not. What do you think, huh? Are, are you a junkie? What do you say to President Trump? He has a bad night. Corn pop. Now, again, I think it's a legitimate question to say, is this an episode or is this a, a condition? More people die from extreme heat than floods, hurricanes, and tornadoes combined. Say that again, combined. More people die from heat than those three other major issues. And look. My recommendation to, uh, is, uh, is for him to have some interviews with serious journalists. Oh, oh what? You among them. A serious journalist. Oh, oh, what? No holds barred. Any questions fair. And just sit there and be Joe. Show your, your, you know, your value. Show your knowledge. Show your judgment. Uh, show your empathy for the American people. Does President Biden, at 81 years old, have Alzheimer's, any form of dementia, or degenerative illness. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men and women created by goat, you know, you know the thing. <laughs> that cause these sorts of lapses, and it's a yes or no question, and if you don't know, why don't you, as one of his senior staff members, know? You're a lion dog face pony soldier. The, the I have an answer for you. Are you ready for it? Yes. It's a no. And I hope you're asking the other guy the same exact question.